Hello, so as you know, I'm on tour with Hey Violet, and guess what? Here's Hey Violet. Who's Hey Violet? Hey! hey. What are you? Follow me. I'm trying here. I don't know why I'm here, but I get why people get high and never quite find what you're looking for. In going into this tour, I wanted to elevate. I wanted to be better than I was last tour. I wanted my set to be more developed. I wanted the music to take the crowd right into where I was when I wrote the songs. We had the same crew as last time with Ricky on the drums, Pete on sound, and Jordan as our new addition on guitar. I get to open the Better Than I've Ever Been tour for Hey Violet. We are in San Diego and I'm about to do sound check for the very first show. I'd like to do a fit check because look at this drip. I was really nervous before the first show. We had just added a few songs to the set list uh, in rehearsals about a week before. And so I was really nervous about forgetting the words. That was like my most pressing thought. Um, and then the crowd was a lot bigger than I was used to and it had been a few months since I performed. So I was just hoping that I would get the hang of it again um, and set a good precedent for this tour. It's good to be nervous. It's the first show of the tour. There's a lot of people out there. Um, and I just really want to do well. And I think nerves can, depending on how you use them, be a good thing. So I'm hoping to just really grab all that energy. I'm wearing my manifestation bracelet. Okay, good to go. Okay, go ahead. My name is Victoria Anthony. I'm 16 years old. And um, I am so excited to be on this tour with Brandon and Violet. I'm angry and I I tried to play nice, but that's not for me We're through, found the drug for your infection And you, you're the problem I corrected, I knew You'll be coming back in seconds I don't know how to apply false lashes Look, how, look at my lashes closely, I'm actually dead serious Because it's actually so embarrassing It's okay The energy after the first show really started to pick up we could tell that we all vibed together really well. Our styles of music all really worked together well. Oh. Opera. I'm sorry, but you're not sorry for what you did. I don't need to forget to get over it. I'm done with all your pretentious shit. You stupid gem and your dirty lipstick. No, but do we have any more three in a row? I think we only have two in a row left, right? God bless. Three in a row are so rough in the woods. I'm so tired right now. I did my breather this morning, such a slight moment. Being young and touring um, is very unique, I would say, because I have a whole other, like, very busy life going on outside of touring. It's hard to balance it all, for sure. A lot of people my age don't get an opportunity like this, and so. I'm just grateful that at 16 years old, I've been able to travel and perform because it's truly a once in a lifetime experience. It's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Cause I've got one hand in my pocket and the other one is giving a high five. Tour is a commitment. Uh, you know ahead of time it's going to be grueling. You know that it's going to be a lot of shows, not a lot of rest, because that's just how it works for it to be economical and for it to just, that's just how tours work. And so you go into it with this mindset, and I know at least for myself, I am always just ready. I'm like, whatever challenge gets thrown my way, you know, I have a show the next day, so I've got to pull myself together somehow. So, you know, whether something happens and I get become emotional or, um, you know, maybe my voice isn't feeling 10 out of 10, you make the adjustments and, you know, the old saying, the show must go on every single time. I get why people get high and fuck up their minds My favorite song to perform on tour was Stupid Kid. The song is about the high that you get with performing. And I get that same high when I perform it. And so it's like almost ironic to some degree, but I love it because people 
really relate to that song I feel like and just love jamming out to it too and so I just knew it had to be the next song that I released. The LA show was one of the most important shows of tour. I knew that a lot of important people were coming. It was going to be the biggest audience. Um, and so I was a little nervous, but mostly excited because it was our last show of tour. So I was just psyching myself up, so ready to lay it all on the stage that night. We get to think of that person who just pisses you off, gets your blood boiling, and we get to sing to them together. To have a fun tour, you need really good people, and that is absolutely what the Better Than I've Ever Been tour had. Every single person was just had a great attitude and was ready to make music and have a fun time every night. Hey Violet were the most welcoming, incredible act that I could have ever opened for. I love these people, I love this tour, and I've never been more inspired to continue performing and continue making music.